Hi, I'm Darren, this is Amanda and Orn. Today we're in Phuket and we're going to show you some unusual Phuket foods. Let's go get some food. This is our first stop. This is a restaurant called Con 101. Very authentic Thai style, sitting on a little table here in a little hut. Lots of other little huts around and they've got some really authentic food here. So our food looks pretty good and looks pretty unusual. Yes. Yes. Kai. We got a, a grilled cow udder. Never tried that before. Looks surprisingly good. You want to try? No, thank you. Orn doesn't eat beef. So, looks like I got that one to myself. Lucky me. We also got a couple of ant egg dishes. We've got an ant egg salad here. What's that one? Goi kai mot dang. Goi kai mot dang. And we got an ant egg omelette as well. We're actually pretty lucky to find ant eggs there at the end of the season now. You usually only find these from about late March till early May. This place has still got them. We also got some grilled pig intestine as well. We do eat this one reasonably often. Always tasty. Let's come with a spicy looking sauce there. So what do you want to try out first? Ant eggs. Ant eggs? All right. We have posted a recipe for this one in the past. It's got lots of shallots, mint in there, coriander, chilies, and ant eggs, as well as some sauces. Let's see how it tastes. Got a big bit of chili there. That is spicy. Sour. Mmm, it is sour. It's like a party of flavors in my mouth at the moment. Being run by chili. Hello. Can taste the shallots, the mint, coriander. The ant eggs don't have a lot of flavor on their own. My eggs have bum, 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 bum. Mm. They burst a little bit of sourness in them. Kind of like lamb caviar is probably the best way I could describe them. The sauce that they've added has also got some lime juice and maybe some fish sauce. Very slightly salty and a little sour. As I said, it's seasonal, but you will find this dish in authentic Thai restaurants all around Thailand, including Phuket. Well worth trying out. I do like this one. We eat it reasonably regularly when it's in season. We'll try the other antique dish, shall we? The omelette. Yeah. Cut a bit of that off. See some ants' eggs in there. Mm, yum, that's very good. It's very eggy. Ant eggs don't have too much flavor in that one. It's a little salty. It's the same when I eat and have bum 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 again. It's quite moist and light. Great flavor in it. And again, little bursts of ant eggs in there. Yeah. yeah. Next one, pig intestine, Sai On Yang. Grilled soft intestine. Looks good. Not gonna smell this one before I eat it. Mm. Great flavor. Yeah. Chewy. Mm. It is chewy. It's a little sweet, a little salty. Great grilled flavor in there. I love this one actually. How's that sauce? Yeah, same like, had better with no salt. Mmm, does actually. Sauce drowns out the flavor of the pig intestine. Mm. Sauce is good though. A little sour, very spicy, and a bit salty. We also got sticky rice with these as well, which Orn's been hopping into. It's a must with this style of eating. Isan food from the northeast of Thailand. Sure you don't want to try this one? No, thank you. No. Cow udder, cow teats grilled. That's good. Very, very tender. Kind of tastes milky. It tastes like pork meat or something. No, not like pork meat, not like beef. It's sweet and I describe that as a milky flavor. Even kind of smells a bit milky when I put that bit in my mouth. Mm, that is delicious, actually. Not thinking about where it's come from. Sorry? You would not try with sauce? No, not try with the sauce. So this flavor is really good. Yeah. 
delicious. Definite milky aftertaste to it. Looking for something unusual. Try this one out. It scores pretty well on the unusual scale, I think. This restaurant is huge. They got lots of other authentic Thai food as well. Huge menu to choose from. So what's your favorite? Yeah, the pig intestine. Yeah, probably my favorite as well, I think. And I did like that omelette as well. That was really delicious too. So that's round one of our unusual foods in Phuket. Here's round two. Our second stop for today, and it's dinner at Go Ang Seafood in Phuket Town. We've got some very unusual stuff here. We've got fried sea cicadas, jakajan tale tod. We've got a horseshoe crab salad, and I got some duang kua glua, fried sago worms with salt and and garlic chili. Ron's not real keen on these options, so she's got herself a noodle salad. But I think I've convinced her to try the other ones. All right. No. Sago worms first? No. I had these here once before and they were probably, I think, the best sago worms I've ever had. They look good. Yum. They're like a, a bubble of air, tasty bubble of air. They're a little bit salty, garlic flavor in them. Very crunchy heads, but the, the body's uh, like a little bubble. Mm. Yum. Do like these. As I said, I think this restaurant possibly serves about the best Sago worms in Thailand. Haven't had too many this good in the past. You sure you don't want to try? Okay. What about the Jakajan Thale? Can try some. Yes. So these are sea cicadas. They're like a cross between a crab and a sea lice. Got lots of garlic with them and they're deep fried. This is something you probably will only find in Phuket. Mm. Crispy. Very crispy and crunchy. Mm. Great seafood flavour. Maybe a cross between a crab and a prawn flavour in them. It's only in Phuket. Yes, there are other varieties of them around the world, but in Thailand, I think Phuket's really the only place where they're served. Very tasty. The next one is the horseshoe crab salad. Looks good. It's got coriander on top, lots of mango in there, I can see. Green onion, lots of horseshoe crab eggs. It's actually only the eggs of these that are eaten. Some shallots, let's try it out. Not being very brave there. There's a minty flavor in there as well. Quite a bit of chili, they're pretty spicy. Eggs that no have, not have heads. I think it will bum 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 but no. Will pop. Mm. Yes. Bum, no, bum. the the eggs are soft. They're not like caviar. They got a, a bit of a flavour similar to caviar. Salty and strong taste of the ocean. But yeah, they just squash down. They don't pop at all. They're they're kind of soft. This one is very popular in Thailand. Wouldn't say it's my favourite seafood dish here, but. It is very interesting. Another popular dish here in Phuket. This is our second time at this restaurant. It's always packed, very busy place. We came here just after it opened and it was probably three quarters full when we arrived. But right now, you can only see maybe one empty table here. Food is great, hence its popularity. Well worth a visit if you come to Phuket and they've got heaps of seafood on ice out the front. Lots of different fish. As well as these things, they've got a huge menu of stuff that you can choose from. Tastes good and big served, right? Yeah, also big serves. Got a lot of worms to get through there. What do you think? Which one's your favourite? I think this. Yeah, uh, good. I think for me, the sago worms definitely the, the go, but these are quite unique and very, very tasty too. So if you're looking for unusual foods in Phuket, do try these restaurants out. The stuff we've had has been delicious and they got heaps of other yummy stuff that you can choose from too. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and check out our channel for lots more videos. We upload new Thailand food and travel videos every week. See you next week.
Bye.